Good day. The topic is total pressure on horizontal plane surface. Taking the last case, that is the horizontal plane. So let us consider the analysis for horizontal surface. So for the process, first, identify points at extreme ends of the submerged horizontal surface. Consider points A and B. Next, to determine the pressure at the pre-identified points. For homogeneous fluid or single fluid, use P equal to gamma times H or height. For layers of fluids, use P equal to P sub A plus the sum of P sub Li. Better to present solution in table form. Next, identify points, depth H, and finally pressure P for our table solution. For points, we have A and B. For H, it is the depth measured from free liquid surface for layers of fluids. The column for H is not needed, so for layers. So at point A, H is equal to H, while at point B, H is equal to H as well. So for P, at point A, P is equal to gamma times H. At point B, gamma times H also. Assign pressure values at A and B, the gamma times H, and draw the pressure diagram. And as shown, the distribution is uniform throughout the surface. So we can already estimate the value of the total pressure, which is F, where F is the volume of the pressure diagram, that is the area of the surface, multiplied with the pressure intensity of our diagram. So for the sample diagram, F is equal to the area of the surface that is B times L, then multiply with the intensity that is gamma times H. But V or the volume is equal to B times L times H. So this is the volume of the fluid above the surface. Thus, simplify the equation, F is equal to gamma times volume, which means that the force acting for horizontal plane surface is the weight of the fluid above. And for the concentration point of the force, it is always at the center of gravity of the surface. So always that CG is equal to the location of CP. So for our sample problem, a rectangular plane of width 3 meters and length 6 meters is submerged horizontally in water at a depth of 5 meters. So determine the total force F. For method number one, the pressure diagram. So assign points A and B at extreme ends. For homogeneous fluid or single fluid, use P equal to gamma times H. Presenting in table form, identify for our column the points H and pressure P. For points, we have A and B. For H, that is measured from free liquid surface, at point A, H is 5 meters, and at point B, 5 meters as well. Therefore, for P at A, it is equal to the gamma of water, that is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter, multiplied to the identified H, that is 5 meters, thus P at A is 49.05. Since we have the same fluid, same H, at B, same P. 49.05. Assign the pressure values at A and B. Then, draw the pressure diagram. Next, to determine the value of force F. For F, it is equal to the volume of pressure diagram or area of the submerged surface times the height or intensity of the pressure diagram. So Substitute the values we have the area A as 6 by 3, then multiply to the intensity that is 49.05 kilonewtons per square meter. Therefore, F 
is equal to 882.9 kilonewtons. That is downward. So with respect to our surface. So let us then compare this to our second method, which is the direct equation, the weight of fluid equation. For F, it is equal to the weight W that is gamma times volume. Substitute gamma that is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter and the volume of the fluid above this horizontal surface that is 6 by 3 by 5 meters. Therefore, F is equal to 882.9 kilonewtons, which is the same as the pressure diagram solution. So again, for various problems, it is your discretion on what method or formula to use as long as you are comfortable of using it. So that's it for our topic, hydrostatic force for horizontal plane surface. Take care and God bless.